Nauru's President Dina Balate called for a political truce on Tuesday as hundreds of protesters again took to the streets of the capital, Lima, and clashes erupted between some people in the crowds and the police. Television footage showed some people and police officers were injured, although not seriously. And after several hours of unrest in the city centre, calm was eventually restored. The protests began in December when then-President Pedro Castillo was ousted. More than 50 people have been killed as a result of the unrest. Economy Minister Alex Contreras said that while weeks of protests have affected some sectors, particularly tourism, the economy could grow close to 4% this year, boosted by a $1.55 billion recovery plan, while the Seoul remains the most stable currency in the region. Nonetheless, protests have caused 2 billion souls, the equivalent of 516.65 million US dollars in damages to production and 3 billion souls in damage to infrastructure, according to President Dina Balate. Balate blamed former President Castillo, who is serving an 18-month term of pre-trial detention while he is investigated for rebellion for promoting political polarization during his nearly 17 months in power. She has also said that the protests had at times turned violent because of radical people linked to drug trafficking, illegal mining, and also smuggling. Attempts to manage the economic impact of the unrest include a $1.55 billion plan announced late last year and targeted at the regions most affected by the protests. The plan includes the expansion of welfare provisions such as pensions, soup kitchens and access to natural gas in homes, as well as public works, and investment in mining and agriculture. Contreras said that Peru was looking to promote lithium development and would be creating a lithium working group. Peru is the world's second biggest copper producer, but has limited lithium production. Alright, that's all for this video, but let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and share. For more content, you can subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. I'm James Preston, reporting for Cowkind Media. Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Cowkind.